Greetings, loyal viewers. Ben here, back again with some piping hot royal gossip about potential heirlooms for the young royal. As you may have heard, insiders claim that Princess Charlotte is set to inherit Princess Diana's iconic wedding tiara when she turns 18. Meanwhile, Harry and Meghan's ghost daughter Lilibet apparently gets zilch. It looks like the Montecito crockery will fly again today, guys. So let's dive into the royal jewel drama, shall we? So now as a respected royal commentator, I've consistently warned about the dangers of Harry and Meghan's bitter jealousy towards William and Kate. The latest episode proves my point. Ever since fleeing to California, the Sussexes have done nothing but throw temper tantrums over their perceived mistreatment by the royal family. But the truth is, they have no one to blame but themselves. Harry and Meghan turn their backs on royal duties and abandon their rightful place in the line of succession. So it is only natural that Princess Charlotte, as William's daughter and a future senior working royal, would receive these priceless heirlooms over Lilibet. But of course, the arrogant duo see this as yet another personal slight. In their deluded minds, they deserve equal treatment, despite wanting none of the responsibility. Harry and Meghan are like spoiled children, who throw away their toys and then cry when other children get to play with them. It would be comical if it weren't so destructive. As we know, Meghan in particular cannot stand being overshadowed. She thought marrying a prince meant she would immediately become the most popular and beloved royal. Her raging jealousy of Kate is evident for all to see, and now she must be seething with envy that her daughter will miss out on Diana's prized possessions while Charlotte inherits them. No wonder Meghan has been slamming doors and screaming at the staff in Montecito. She must be absolutely boiling mad over this latest insult. I can just imagine the plate smashing against the walls as she vents her fury, Harry trying in vain to calm her down while little Archie and Lilibet cower in the corner. This is what happens when ambitious narcissists like Meghan don't get their way. The tantrums and melodrama would put any toddler to shame. She just can't comprehend a world in which she isn't number one. Of course, the Sussex squad will cry racism over this. They'll say snubbing Lilibet is discriminatory and another example of the evil racist roles mistreating Meghan. Give me a break, this has nothing to do with race and everything to do with consequences. You cannot resign from royal duties while living off your royal status and expect equal treatment. Harry and Meghan wanted freedom, but they also wanted the perks. Well, it doesn't work that way. If they wanted Lilibet to inherit royal jewels, they shouldn't have abandoned their roles. You reap what you sow, actions have consequences. At the end of the day, Princess Charlotte fulfilling her destiny as a senior working royal is not depriving Lilibet of anything. As eighth in line to the throne, realistically, she was never going to get these heirlooms. The Sussexes' perpetual victimhood is embarrassing, and we see through it. This also speaks to William's wisdom compared to Harry's petulance. As future king, William understands legacy duty in playing the long game. That's why he and Kate are carefully preparing George, Charlotte, and Louis for their royal roles. Meanwhile, Harry is too short-sighted and entitled to comprehend why his children can't have everything. William was always the mature brother, while Harry has always been more reactive and emotionally volatile. We're seeing the fruits of this play out, William focusing on raising future monarchs, Harry wallowing in self-pity. So while I'm sure Montecito is filled with Meghan's fury, I say let her stew. The royal family must put its duty first and not appease these professional victims. Harry and Meghan made their bed, now they must lie in it. If Meghan didn't want this, she should have thought twice before abandoning her post. But as always, she wants the glamour without the work. My advice to Harry is to learn from your wise brother William and start prioritising your children's future over your petty grudges. Stop the childish tantrums and finger pointing. Take ownership of your decisions. Only then can your family heal and your children have a well-adjusted life. Quit playing the blame game and be the man Princess Diana wanted you to be. And to Meghan, I say stop this envious rage. Every time you are outshone, the world does not revolve around you. Throwing fits will not change Charlotte's destiny. If you wanted your daughter to be a senior royal, you shouldn't have left. Time to take responsibility, Meghan. So in summary, while I'm sure Montecito's walls are shaking from Meghan's fury, duty comes first. These heirlooms are part of Princess Charlotte's birthright and future as Queen Consort. Harry and Meghan made choices, so they cannot complain about the results. Time for the Sussexes to grow up and stop the childish jealousy. Focus on the children, not yourselves. Well, folks, what drama? Let me know your reactions to this heirloom jealousy. Is Meghan deranged for assuming Lilibet deserves royal jewels? Or should all Diana's grandkids have a shot at her gems? Look forward to your spicy hot takes. We'll see you again soon.